Hi, good morning guys and uh, welcome back to the channel and um, finally doing a bit more on the stroker build and um, hopefully we're going to get it into the into the car today i've just got a couple of bits to finish off um, on the engine put it up on the hoist and then i'll have to drag it around to the back of the unit because um, the car is over in the far corner and um, so hopefully i'm going to get that in today and maybe get it running depending on time i've only got a couple of hours and um, so once again apologies for the delay with this build and um, i've been busy with other stuff customer work so this is the first chance i'm getting to do a couple of hours on it uh, so enjoy watching uh, so engine is now outside ready to go in the dirty car as you can see i had to maneuver it all the way around and in between these cars so hopefully it won't take long and i'll get it all in So that's the engine in, um, well not in, uh, engine's in the engine bay, gearbox, everything underneath is all uh, bolted up, um, so once I get it running I'll be able to move the car, uh, so just going to get the uh, engine all wired up now and um, then hopefully I'll be able to get it running. So this is it. it at the moment, as you can see I just need to wire it up, get a radiator on it and uh, then we should be good to go. Right, so first start, let's see how it goes. Got power. Oh, it <laughs> yippee. Starts. Car runs, happy with that. Um, no exhaust on it, uh, so obviously it's quite loud. And I just have a battery connected up, wired up to some wires just to get it running. Um, so it's just finishing that off, and it'll be done. So that's it. The M50 B30 Stroker build is uh, done. Uh, car is uh, engine is in the car, and it runs. I didn't want to run it for too long because um, it's only manifolds on it at the moment, and with no exhaust, it's way too noisy. So I'll get the exhaust on it in the week and um, I'll bring you one more video just to show you what it sounds like and what it runs like. But that's it basically finished for um, the engine build side of things and as I said I am happy that it uh, all runs. Um, it did take a bit longer than expected due to the fact that I haven't done much on it over the last couple of months and because the car is outside in the far corner of the, in the yard so it's quite hard to get to. And, uh, especially when it's raining or it's cold, you don't really want to go out and do much on it. Um, but now as I said it's, it's done, I can drive it into the unit when I need to, um, put the last few bits on it. Um, I will need to get it mapped um, sometime, so I'll be looking for somebody to do that for me. Um, to really get the most gains out of the engine and, and the mods that it's had. Um, but that's basically it from this series. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and anybody who's subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Um, the next probably series we'll be doing will be the E36 in the background, which is um, getting a V8 to be started in the next couple of days. So we'll do a full series on that as well. So um, if you like what you're watching, as I said, subscribe and thank you very much.